In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Birkenstock Black Suede Kyoto Slides. I'm going to start with unboxing. We're going to look at the packaging, the build quality, and lastly, I'm going to finish the video off by wearing them so you can see what they look like. And I'll give my final impressions towards the end so you can make up your decision if this is the product for you. One thing I've noticed is that Birkenstock is pretty good at giving you a shipping box that is almost the identical size of your actual product box. For those of you looking these up in the future and these are no longer available for some reason, here's the particular item number. I'm going to be a US men's size 13 and here's your European size. We have a traditional Birkenstock box here that shows you all the different styles they offer. And you can pause this to read for more detail on the company. On the boxes, what are very useful is a size chart that shows you your various sizes, which is European, US children, US ladies, US men, and UK sizes. They also offer millimeter. With this sizing chart here, it's very convenient because you can put your foot and you can see where you land. I'll show you this shortly. Here's just an information card. This is going to be offered in German and in English. Again, feel free to pause to read this in more detail. For these Kyotos, I just want to point out a distinction. If you see here this blue label, when you see this blue label on Birkenstocks, it indicates that it has a soft footbed. What this blue label means is that under this footbed, you have a thin layer of cushioning. I think it's EVA, and it gives you a bit more support Whereas this black label does not have the soft footbed injected, so it's straight cork. Regardless of the soft footbed, both of these with time shape to your foot, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. But just be advised that the blue label has a bit more cushioning. Even though it's very minimal, it has a bit more cushioning in comparison to the traditional style. For the upper on the sandal, it's going to be a suede Nubuck leather construction. If we unfasten these Velcro straps, the sandal opens up completely and you do have more adjustment on this outer strap here. The sole on this sandal is an EVA material, and the beauty is when it comes time to replace this sole and it's been worn out, you don't have to get rid of the entire sandal. You can take it to local shoe repair shops in your area, and they can replace just the bottom. Depending on the options available, you may be able to do a different color as well, so you can add a bit more personality. For instance, I have a pair of Birkenstocks that have a green sole, and it stands out a bit more, so keep that in mind, you can call a few shops and ask if they offer different colors when it comes time to replace this sole. Feel free to pause this and read this in detail if you'd like. We're going to align our heel on the edge here. And you can see I'm right at about the 290 mark. So that 290 mark is going to be listed as a size 45 or a size 12 in men's. The reason why I stepped up to a 13 in this particular video is because if you notice here, this is going to be a 45, which is a size 12 US. And putting this on, if it feels and fits great, but occasionally when you're walking, if you see I stand up there, it's almost on the edge. So they fit great and once they break in, your foot literally just sits in it so it's not really shifting around. The difference here on this 13 is slightly more noticeable. You see that there's more space, not much. Keep in mind when you're walking around during the day, your foot expands about a half size because of all the blood going into your legs. So you can see there, these fit a little roomier, not too much of a big deal. Once you're, Again, once your foot breaks in, it sinks into the sandal a bit more and you can always tighten it with this strap here.
One of my biggest issues with the Nubuck suede style sandals from Birkenstock, regardless of if they are Kyoto's or these Arizona style sandals, are that if you look here on this suede Nubuck style, there's no rigid support structure here, so it always collapses inward. And when you wanna put sandals on, you want them to be opened already so you can slip them on pretty easily. Otherwise here, you could be struggling one day and you can trip and fall over this if you're in a hurry or something or being careless. Whereas if you notice here with this leather material, it always keeps this shape, which I love because when you're sliding your foot on, it's ready and open so you're not tripping over that loose flabby piece there. Here's an example of me trying to put it on. This Nubuck Suede Kyoto offers a much more simple design in comparison to the other options Birkenstock offers. However, I'm not a fan of the Nubuck Suede just because you see how much debris it picks up. And if you get these Nubuck Suede sandals in lighter color options, you're gonna be susceptible to a lot of stains and any food or whatever falls on this, it's going to be much harder to clean because the Nubuck Suede is more of the bottom end of the leather and this is more porous it's more of an open material, so the lighter color is gonna catch a stain and it's gonna be much more difficult to take out. In addition, because these are not leather, this piece here is not gonna maintain its structure and it's gonna be flopping in and out. So I just don't like that for a safety perspective and just a convenience perspective as well. Like if you see there, this is always ready to go and just slide in like a slipper. The downside is that the leather option for these Kyoto's is very expensive. I, I believe it's about $220 or higher if you want the leather variant. I don't understand why they make it so expensive um, because you can find leather options like this for about $100, $120. So all in all, the sandal's a bit too pricey for my liking and you still have a lot of things to put up with. Now the build quality is great, but because of the lack of structure on this opening here, that's already one of my biggest red flags. All right, everyone, and that concludes my review for these Birkenstock Kyoto sandals. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like these or will you pass on them? Lastly, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps small channels like mine grow and continue bringing content like this in the future. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Have a great evening. Striker out.